Hey guys, a little too close? As you know, I travel between New York and Southern California a lot, mainly for food. And, and I mentioned this before, but there are certain food groups that are way better here in LA and SoCal than New York. For example, Vietnamese food, Japanese food, and Korean food. More specifically, Korean barbecue. Even more specifically, all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue. I mean, right now, there's a couple good all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue restaurants that just opened up uh, in the New York, New Jersey area. But before that, we really had nothing. But LA, what was the land? of all you can eat Korean barbecues. So I've always wanted to do a video going to a bunch of them, trying them out and let you guys know what I think. Of course, I, I can't fit all of them in this one video, but we'll do what we can. Let's go eat some barbecue. Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. Well, not, not the Mike Chen from, from this video. Anyway, uh, before you watch this video, I, I just wanna clear some stuff up. Um, a lot of you noticed that I, I published a video and about six, seven hours later, I took it down. In this video, I was in a greater Los Angeles area and I was trying out Korean barbecues, specifically all you can eat Korean barbecues. And I found this really interesting place in the 626. I went in, it's a beautiful restaurant. They had three different pricing options. The, the most expensive being around $50, which included steak, dry aged steak. Anyway, knowing me, I probably heard the words dry aged steak and, and, my, and my brain just, just completely shut off because the restaurant really only offers one steak and one short rib, whatever the premium products are, only one of each per person. But in my head, for some reason, I just thought everything was included in the all you can eat for 50 bucks. And the restaurant was just being really nice because they just kept giving it to me because I think they saw me filming. But at the end, I was like, wow, that's not a bad deal for all you can eat dry age ribeye for 50 bucks. And that didn't even really seem strange to me because I, I've had all you can eat Wagyu in Japan for about 60, 70 bucks. So then hours after posting the video, I get a message from the manager of the restaurant saying, hey, we only offer one steak per person. I was like, what? I really thought everything was all you can eat. And that's why right away I took the video down, uh, wrote the explanation to you guys. Because like I said, if somebody told me something I love was all you can eat and it wasn't, I'd be pretty upset. So if you were one of the people who saw the previous video and went to the restaurant and you didn't get to eat all the steaks you want, I, I know that feeling. I, I, I hate that feeling and I'm truly sorry about that. So I basically was just going to purge this video. But in the comments, so many of you guys wanted to see this video with a disclaimer like this in the beginning. So here is the video with some edits, especially Especially at the end because now I gotta kind of re-review this place because it's not all you can eat steak. Anyway, here you go. This is definitely the, the pinkest Korean barbecue place I've ever been to. Whoa, Metro Man slash Transformer look like guy. Aged meat right inside the entrance. It's really interesting. As soon as we walk in, arcade games. Kind of like kind of a retro comic book store kind of vibe in the entrance. Oh, I just found out this is this is Taekwon, that dude right there. It's like a Korean anime character in the 1970s. So this whole restaurant's theme is based on the superhero right here. Maybe maybe he really liked Korean barbecue. And as soon as you walk in from the entrance, bar is over here, and over here there's like a sitting area and like a almost like a library living room setting. Wow, that's a pretty setting. They're slicing meat over there in Taekwondo uniforms. So this place, um, they just start serving all you can eat and that's really the only Korean barbecue I go to because for me, if I don't do all you can eat, I end up spending like $100. So this place is really unique, check this out. This is what they offer, Himalayan salt dry aged black Angus, 45 days dry aged, premium, Kurobuda, and everything's cooked on a cast iron pan. They offer three different tiers of all you can eat. The first tier is lunch, which is $23.99. Second tier is gold, which is $29.99. And the third tier, this is really interesting, is diamond barbecue tier. And this includes dry aged ribeye steak, which like I said, they age for 45 days. It's what's hanging out front of their store. And the cast iron grill. And you get this for the diamond meal. Diamond, of course, can be way more expensive, $40. $7.99 and you're really paying for the dry age rub by steak. Also with the diamond, um, you get all the side dishes here. So they told me to get the cheese fondue, the shake it bomb, and I got some cold noodles because I gotta have cold noodles with my Korean barbecue. This is the shake it bomb. A little bit of kimchi, seaweed over easy eggs, spam, rice, and it's a tin lunchbox. And what they do, wow, and that's why it's called a shake it box.
This piece of fat is being used instead of butter or oil. So this whole thing is just gonna have a fantastic beefy flavor. And that is the dry aged ribeye. So that was quite a show. And this is the ultimate dry-aged ribeye. This, all you need is a little bit of salt. Whoa. Whoa, hang, 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 hang. What is this? Dry-aged. Oh my, it's smoked? Yeah, it's smoked. I haven't put a single piece of food in my mouth, but I'm already really liking it. Anyway, like I was saying, this meat just need a little bit of salt. Don't ruin it. Oh. That's a good piece of steak. And this is just a big old chunk of fat right here. I love pieces like this. Again, just a little bit of salt. And when it feels like the meat's getting a little too much, chase it with some kimchi. It's tender, not as tender as I would have thought, but really intense beef flavor. Starting my second round of meat, and I'm gonna try the smoked ribeye just to see what the difference is. And the grilled cheese as well. I wanted to try the smoky ribeye just to see if there's a difference, if I can taste the smoke. Mm. You can cut that smoke with a knife. This piece was actually more tender than the last piece. I'm not gonna expect it to be butter, like A5 Wagyu, but that's a solid piece of ribeye. Very, very flavorful ribeye. This is the grilled cheese. Oh. I really like this. Crispy exterior, really milky. Make sure you get some of that cheese. I'm gonna try a piece of the short rib. This is one of my favorite cuts at Korean barbecue. Wow. This is the most tender cut of beef. More tender than the sirloin itself. And it's just so buttery. And they cooked the steak. For being a Korean barbecue and also utilizing a blowtorch, I mean, this is cooked pretty well. Butter steak. Cheese. Chase it with the kimchi. Oh, yeah. oh, totally forgot. I was so distracted by the steak, which happens a lot in my life. Totally forgot about my cold noodles. Take a piece of steak, a little bit of salt, mummify that with some cold noodles. Mm. Well, that's a good Korean barbecue experience. Don't go crazy on the cold noodles, it's gonna fill you up. Focus on the meat. This is the Shake It Box Bomb. I ordered this because uh, I wanted to see what it was, but this is probably not the best thing to get if you want to maximize your value here. Because this is essentially just a tray of rice. That's yummy though. A little creamy because of the eggs. So there's kimchi, little strips of squid. Oh, that cheese is a bubbling. This is the cheese fondue. And what you do, you can take a piece of steak and dip it in there. Oh yeah. Oh, that is so sexy. Tender beef, melty cheese. What's not to love about that? And now we got a change of grill so we can get some of that uh, charcoal flavor in there. And this is the marinated short rib. Tender, 
juicy, just a slight bit of char. Oh. Wow, the marinated short rib, that thing is just exploding with flavor. And again, the short rib is probably the most tender, the meltiest piece of meat you can find at Korean barbecues. And when you chew, that thing is just all butter. Also, what they have here, in terms of dipping sauce, it's a little wasabi. And the key to eating more steak, more fatty meat, is to be able to counteract that greasiness, that fattiness, with a bit of acid, a bit of spice, and a little bit of wasabi, it's really gonna make your steak sing. Oh man, the wasabi really helps to just cut through the fat, really able to make the flavor of the meat stand out more. It's kind of like making a 2D movie 3D without giving you the headache. I tried the dry aged ribeye steak, the prime ribeye steak, and the boneless short ribs so far. Out of those three, those are the top items in the diamond tier. I would say stay away from the prime ribeye steak. It's okay, but it's not gonna be as tender, as flavorful as the aged steak. Also, I feel like the short rib, I like that even more than the aged ribeye. It's just more tender and more flavorful for me. But the ribeye definitely has the bigger beefy flavor. Something else I gotta get, and I get this at every Korean barbecue because I, I love it so much, the thinly sliced beef belly. This thing, usually I love to put it in sesame oil and some salt. Here, I'm just gonna do a little salt. There is a lot of smoke. I think for the steak, the skillet is more able to cook it to the perfect doneness, but the grills really amp up that smoky flavor. I think I'm gonna stop the onslaught of meat here, but they got one more thing I gotta get. This is like a rice cracker ice cream, essentially a little ice cream sandwich. So strawberry ice cream, a little syrup between two rice crackers. And there's also red bean paste on the bottom as well. The rice cracker makes a really good bun because uh, it's super crumbly, and it's so airy that when you bite it, it kind of disintegrates and melts in your mouth with the ice cream. A fitting conclusion to this pretty fantastic meal. Ugh. Ugh. Let's go talk outside. So, overall impression, I love that place. Also, what kept popping into my head was that East Coast all-you-can-eat Korean barbecues is just not even close to what is being offered here. But let's break it down more. In terms of quality, this place is solid. Hey, it's me again. I'm just gonna cut in here uh, on this guy. Anyway, li like he probably said, this is a quality restaurant. So all the meats we got were really good cuts. The customer service, the wait staff, so attentive and amazing. And everything tasted really good. Even even the side dishes, even, the, even that shake it box and the cold noodles, great. But in the previous review, I said the steaks were good. They weren't 8-5 Wagyu quality, but they were good, especially for the price. All you can eat for the steaks. That's not a bad deal for steak lovers. It wasn't as tender as I would have liked, but the flavor is good. I think my favorite cut is the short ribs, which of course is limited to one per person. So at least for me, the extra money I was paying for the diamond level, I, I could have done without the steaks. I mean, the short ribs were excellent, the best cut there, but I don't know if that's worth an extra 25 or so dollars. So if I was to go back again, I'm pretty sure I will because it is a great restaurant and probably one of the top all you can eat Korean restaurants I've been to in the US, I would not pay the extra money for the steak. Anyway, Anyway, that's my revised review. Now, now back to this guy. I mean, everything aside, just, just from my feeling going in the whole dining experience and then coming out, my heart and my taste buds telling me that's a fantastic place. And the original plan for this video was to go to two, maybe three, all you can eat Korean barbecue restaurants to try them out. But a last minute collab has been scheduled my last day here. So unfortunately, that's gonna have to wait till I come back. But trust me, I will get the job done. Anyway, guys, as always, the location for this place is listed for you in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again. I'll see you later.